You know, you hear the words, you have cancer, and it's stage four. The world falls away and you get the tunnel vision and you're like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? You know, I ask the question, frankly, hey, am I gonna die from this? Because I wanna know before I go and do the chemo and radiation, because we've all seen it on TV, you lose your hair and everything falls apart. But they came up with the plan. You know, here's what we're going to do. And that sounds like something that would take a month to figure out. They did it in a week. I got a bad CT on a Thursday. The following Thursday, I was getting my biopsy. The following Monday, I was in the chair getting my first infusion. We decided that the way to diffuse the stress was to give the tumor a name. And so we had a group meeting as a family. I have six kids. Uh, and they wanted to come up with the most feeble sounding supervillain uh, that they could come up with. And so we decided on Kevin, probably because of Home Alone. Um, and that became our motto was that we were going to kill Kevin. <laughs> Everybody was on the bandwagon to kill Kevin. And I can't tell you what a great feeling that was. I would say to anybody who's facing a diagnosis, the faster you can laugh about it, the sooner you'll start to feel better. The hat that I kept for myself, I took around to all of my uh, providers and everybody was so happy to sign. And some of them did little drawings for the, you know, the area of the uh, hospital that they worked in. But it, it, they became a second family to me. Uh, I know Riverside brags about being the, uh, the place that treats their patients like family, uh, but it's true. That's, that's how I was treated, and I just felt like my family, I already have a big family, but it got really big uh, because of Kevin. Yeah.